Welcome back to part 12 of the rigging tutorial series by myself, IK Handel. Okay, this is the scene that we are left with. And in fact, you can actually see a typical example of where the widget is getting in the way of the IK Handle. So let's right mouse click on the circular part of that widget. And then we've got access to our IK Handle. OK, let's clear up a couple of loose ends. If I right mouse click on any lock, be it rotation, a full lock or a position lock, it brings up the default options for the lock. In this case it's a rotation lock, strength is 1 and everything else is left unchecked. Lock type, rotation currently, I could change this to position, you see a change here or both, which is the full lock here. So let's just change it back to rotation. The strength is basically how much is it going to let this um, stop this rotating. So I can have it rotating perhaps 50% of its normal amount or whatever percentage I set using this slider. When you set a rotation lock or a position lock it acts on all three axes. You can unlock these individual axes here and so you can specify specific axes which the lock is going to work on. The use with physics option is beyond the scope of this series of tutorials. Hopefully I'll cover it if I do an advanced series. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Alright, we have got Animate is soft to cover and we've got the full lock to cover. So let's start with the full lock. I'll just do a bit of cleaning up first. We'll delete the two rotation locks and we'll remove invert IK groups. So now what we are have is we are back to our IK handle activating this position lock and this is the kind of behavior that we're getting by default. Okay, let's set a full lock and we will place it here. We will associate it with the IK handle. And what this is basically saying is from this bone downwards in the hierarchy, don't allow either rotation or translation position. And this is a reaction that we get. It's pointless adding two of these because basically from here on down it's locked in both position and rotation. In fact, if I was to remove this position lock here it would make no difference to the reaction as it's already position locked further up the hierarchy by this one. In fact, let me just show you that. Well, there's two ways I can go. I can either left click on here and then unactivate that. And now you'll see this behavior exactly the same. Or I can activate it. And you'll see it's having no, no difference of effect. It makes no difference adding multiple full locks because basically from the point that the lock is at downwards in the hierarchy Everything is locked in rotation and translation movement. We've now covered full locks, position locks, and rotation locks. So we're on the home straight and let's cover animated soft and then we will have all of our IK handle options covered as well. The animated soft description in the manual is perhaps a bit cryptic and I've had to do a bit of testing myself and just kind of work out seat of the pants stuff as to what it actually does. Um, this is March of 2009 and at the minute the information I can give you is as much as I know myself. If anything changes I'll update this video. To demonstrate this I'm going to give you a little treat because you've got so far through rigging that you need to give yourself a pat on the back and I want to give you a nice little 
surprise, which will hopefully encourage you to keep at it and show you some of the possibilities down the line for advanced IK rigging and rigging in general. I'm going to come up here and load my new project. And this is an advanced rig that I'm working on. It's way beyond the scope of this fundamental series on the rigging, but hopefully you'll like what you see and some of the capabilities of IK. If you'll notice here the ball of the foot, then the heel of the foot are touching the ground. We can lift this leg. All of these are IK handles that I'm dragging. If you notice now, it comes to the ground and it automatically levels itself until you get to an extreme. I can raise the toe and the foot. I can raise just the toe. Let me just come up to the skeleton tool default and I'm going to hide the locks just to clean it up a bit. In addition to what this this rig I've shown you will do, which is the automatic foot and ball toe roll, I can change the angle of the ground. Maybe that's a bit extreme. And I can basically move this widget here and this widget here. And now the ball will roll at the correct angle for this. I'm using left and mouse right and right mouse buttons. They're both uh, being separated out to different motions. In addition to that, I can go like this and it will automatically line itself up with the floor, whether it's uphill, downhill or level. In addition to that, I can have a thigh bulge using morphs. Oh, this is a very basic one just to show the concept. And all this can be keyframed and set as poses. So for example, if this leg came down, you might want the muscles to bulge a bit, etc. Anyway, this is all in front of you. Keep practicing. I hope you like some of the possibilities that you've seen here. But let's just use this for what I came here for in the first place, which is an example of Animator Soft. With Animator Soft, which I'm looking at this handle here, left mouse button, I'm rotating, or rather I'm moving up and down. You can see that the, the movement you're getting there with the right mouse button, it's peeling from the ground. Okay, if I take Animator Soft off, and we use the left mouse button, what you'll see is the whole thing starts to break its locks. Both the top lock, which is up here on the hip, and the lock on the toe. If I right mouse click, you'll see the same thing. So fundamentally, what I gather from my experiments with Animator Soft is it basically firms up any position locks at both ends. So in other words, where we had firm handle uh, before, which locked the IK handle itself, and it couldn't move beyond the position. There's no line coming up uh, to a certain extent. Animated Soft does the same, but at the other end of the IK chain. Give yourself a pat on the back, guys. You've done really well to get this far. And what you're looking at is where you could be with a bit of practice and I'll love to see some of your rigs using IK and advanced IK in some of your characters on the forum. Cheers, this is IK Handle and I'll see you in the next video.